What's up everybody, I'll turn back today for another video. Today, as you can tell, I got my great grandfather's boat. My grandpa just handed it down to me after I got or after I got back from the Ozarks. And guys, I plan to do so much with this boat. Right now it's loaded with crap because we took it back. But um so I just bought I, I just got a trolling motor for it. Uh this there is uh in Illinois there's a 10 horse that I'm gonna end up putting on the back of this. Maybe in the future go bigger. Right now. I just put one rod holder in, that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna put six of these bad boys in here. This is gonna be the catfish slayer. Um right now I'm thinking about putting a deck on like up at the front so I can put a uh, foot pedal tron motor and go fish bass tournaments and stuff like that. But uh I've got a lot planned for this boat. I can't wait to go out on it. I'm going to soon. I, uh, right now I'm going to go uh, plug in or uh, drill in the holes to the size of the boat so I can put in these uh, rod holders, these fish bite rod holders right here. They're really good. Uh, held in right here. Don't real tight. Um, the only thing I wish I did was got a little bit smaller of a, uh, of a um, bolt and all that. But okay, so. I haven't been posting much on YouTube recently, or in, well, I have on Instagram, but I haven't uh, been posting much fishing content just because I've been fishing. I've been working for this. I've been uh, just kind of figuring out what to put on it and stuff. I just bought a graph for it. I bought the Hummingbird Helix 5. Uh, I think it's a Chirp G2 or something. And uh, yeah, so let's get into drilling the holes in, and we might even take this boat out soon. So stay tuned, guys. I'm really excited. So I'm kind of strategically placing these, but I'm also kind of scared because, so I don't know how many I'm going to end up putting on. Six right now is definitely what I'm staying with, but later on, I might want to put some more back here or something. And well, that one, I wish I would have moved a little bit closer because I'm going to be sitting here and I don't want the freaking rod to be hitting me. So that, the one I'm going to do over here, I'm putting over here so the rod comes in right here. But that should be fine. That doesn't really matter to me. Um, that one over there will do what I want. I don't know if I want to put one up there. I uh, probably will. But that's going to be like, that's going to be the deck. So I don't know if that's going to interfere with me like bass fishing and stuff. So I'm not sure what I want to do. I'm thinking about it. But that's kind of what's going through my head right now. So stay tuned, y'all. Just join in these freaking holes. This thing right now is so hot so much energy but I gotta go screw on another one of those here we go drill a hole right through it I don't like ow dang it's hot but I don't like drilling holes into this boat but these rod holders are probably never ever gonna be moved again so got six here's what they look like coming out of the package if you guys have not known you get these and then Get the rod holder. All right, cool off a bit. So I'm gonna put my block under here. Make sure it's eh. Alright guys, so I finally got it stuck, and uh, now just got to put the bolt on, and we'll be straight. I also got to put these poles to help back in, in a little bit later. Three more to go, guys. Not gonna lie, y'all. I didn't think this would be this like uh, time-consuming or tough. But I'm out here and I'm sweating my butt off. So check out the outsider shirt too. Oh, I got a special announcement too, guys. Um, 
at the end of the video. Stay tuned. All right, I'm gonna get all of them installed and uh, I'll let y'all uh, uh, see what it looks like after and then we're gonna put these um, PVC things in so uh, it's easier to back in. I got those PVCs over here. Those things. All right, y'all, so it's done basically. Uh, what I didn't film on camera was this. We, me and my dad, we put these in. They're basically, uh, I can screw this off and take these off, but it helps me uh, park. So uh, yeah, uh, whenever I get the actual motor on, it'll make it a lot easier and it helps me back up. So we got, here's a whole overview of the boat. We got three rod holders on that side, three on this side. Um, basically it's all good for practicality. Now we just need to make it more comfortable, which that will come through time. Um, we got these three rod holders over there, these over here, and the trolling motor. That's really all you need for like a cat vision boat. Uh, obviously I want more rod holders, obviously I want padded seats, obviously I want a deck for bass fishing and stuff, but... For right now, money wise and everything, we're just doing this. Uh, and very soon, once I get that all, we're going to start working on more. So, you guys stay tuned, I hope to update you guys on the boat videos more. Um, this is what we did here, and uh, yeah, so I, I think um, I might make this its own video, or I might make it a catfishing video and actually take this out uh, and test it. So, whatever I end up doing, if I don't, uh, thank y'all so much for watching. I can't wait to give you guys some videos with this boat. It's gonna be freaking sick. And the, I know the special thing you guys have all been waiting for uh, that I said what I was gonna do. I dropped freaking merch. Uh, this isn't one of my shirts, but this was a shirt I made a while ago. But go head over to Dropped Outdoors, type it in on the internet, and go get you some. Me and this, me and the the uh, owner over there have been working for a very long time, and we finally got some cool stuff. I've got camo shirts, everything, and uh, yeah, I'd really appreciate it if you guys went over there and looked at it. Uh, maybe even cop some. Uh, it's it's pretty cool. I'll leave a link to it in the bio, and uh, huge shout out to him over there just for uh, setting that all up for me. So, yeah, well, this is the boat. We got everything we need, and thank you guys for watching. So, I'll see you guys at, at the uh, river if we're catfishing with it. If not, I'll see you guys in the next video, and uh, thank you for watching. Outside out, peace. All right, y'all, I'm back. I just got done putting this uh, stern saver on last night, uh, and I just have it taped up right now. Uh, and we're about to see the final thing. So you had to like put this template on, glue four holes. I didn't film it all because it was dark and uh, it had just been boring. But we're gonna see if it sticks, how good it is. And uh, yeah, so let's take this tape off and see what happens. All right, y'all, so I got the uh, transducer on now. All I got to do is drill this one last hole in here, this thing, and then we're going to go rig up the graph hook top. It's not going to be anything special. It's going to be right in the seat probably, but it should do, and it'll, it'll be pretty awesome. So I'm going to get right up to the trolling motor battery, and, uh, yeah, so stay tuned. All right, y'all, so me and my dad just came up with this. Uh, it's a little mount for this thing held in with a nut and a bolt right here. Sorry, it's got to focus. And then we have a little placement thing, and then we're going to drill that onto here. So while I'm motoring, while I'm motoring, I can look over here instead of looking back at the seat. God, that's annoying. Be right back.